Most of us take breather and reflect during the Holy Week, but now to help us decide on where to go, we have with us here Sharon Perez, Executive Vice President of FETA Travel Depot. Good morning, Sharon. Good morning. Like you mentioned earlier that, you know, it's um, a bit last minute now to book some trips. So tell us, uh, what are the options that they have if they still want to book a trip for the upcoming Holy Week? Well, like what I said, um, yes, they still do. Ha I'm not saying that, you know, we're closing doors for their options to go out of town or out of the country. But um, the flights are limited already. But if they just wanted to, like, have a getaway, mm -hmm. there are so many other places, like, outside Metro Manila that they can go. Of course, we still have Batangas, mm -hmm. Tagaytay, um, Subic, um, the provinces of Rizal or Aurora, Quezon. These are the, you know, within the bounds of Luzon that they can still go to. Um, well, to be honest, if should they have booked early, mm -hmm. it's not really, um, it's not really hard to get budget packages on um, major destinations like mm -hmm. Boracay, Palawan, mm -hmm. Davao, Cebu. About, you know, they can get as low as five thousand pesos per person. Mm -hmm. Uh, but with the last minute getaways, I think that's the, the option we have right now, you know. Um, Batangas for about, they can get as low as 2,000 pesos per room. Mm -hmm. um, Tagaytay, same, probably. Mm -hmm. Although the rooms are, might be limited. Already by Already, now, okay, right but now. still possible still within, possible, within um, you know, the closer boundaries uh, to Manila, right? Yes. But what are the most popular destinations um, during the Holy Week for, let's say, let's say for people who want to observe the religious aspect of uh, the upcoming holiday? Yeah, well, of course, it depends on their goal. There are some people who would want to see, like, um, you know, the, when it comes to religious aspects, there's there's also a touch of cultural mm -hmm. aspect in that. One of the most famous, of course, would be Marinduque. Mm -hmm. Why uh, is that? the Mariones Festival. Okay. And um, some people would opt to go to Pampanga to see, you know, some of the the um, the Lenten uh, rituals that mm -hmm. people do there. But one of the uh, famous things right now that people do. To, to just get away in a spiritual retreat are, um, is actually go to prayer mountains. Mm -hmm. that, that's oh. something that's really, um, you know, famous right now. Where are um, the prayer mountains? It started mountains? in Korea, but okay. um, one famous prayer mountain we have is Touch of Glory. It's not really that far. It's just Antipolo. Oh. And it's actually the very first, um, or if I may say, the only prayer mountain in Southeast Asia. So it's really not like, you know, regardless of your religion, if you just wanted to like get away and like um, be be solace for a while or right. just have peace and peace quiet, and, quiet. Mm -hmm. and just commune with nature, mm -hmm. God, you know, mm -hmm. that that's that's an option that you know a lot of people do. Okay, and then um, you mentioned Marinduque being yep. one of the most popular places. What is the festival um, there that well, we can it's expect? actually Moriones festival. Mm -hmm. It's more of um, like um, there's like, like what I said, it started as a religious festival, now became part of the culture. So it's like a, a, a parade of, um, you know, uh, people wearing masks and costumes and things like that. Mm -hmm. um, it's not impossible to still go to Marinduque. Um, people can go there with the flights, I'm not sure anymore, but people can go there via um, a ferry. Okay. So they take a bus to Lucena and okay. then it's about three, four hours and then another three hours um, to Marinduque. And that's when the focus there is really the festival. I think okay. it's like, you know, people do it 24 7. Okay. You know, it starts in a Wednesday, ends in a Friday. Okay. And then, so you yeah. get a lot of tourists. Going yes, definitely. To the area as yes, well. not just locals. You know, there's okay, so a lot total of, of six foreigners. hours, three hours by road, and another three hours by ferry. About four hours by road. Four hours by road mm -hmm. and three hours by ferry. And three hours okay. by ferry, and, and then uh, people who, who have cars have options to do the Roro. You know, they uh, can. Yes, I heard of yeah, the Roro. they can actually um, get their cars on board and yes. ferries, and then you know. But it's impossible to really roam around Marinduque during the Lenten season because the streets are filled with people dancing and, you know, doing all the 
the actual Moriones Festival. Moriones Festival. Mm -hmm. Now, lastly, the the for those people who don't really plan on leaving town, mm -hmm. what would you suggest for them? Well, one of the um, you know uh, newest terms in travel would be the staycations. Mm -hmm. Okay, where people actually. Um, wouldn't really have to go far, you know, they can actually find hotels in um, Makati area or Quezon City or even um, the south area. Um, hotel rooms ranges from, if it's the regular rate would be 3,000, it would just range 4,000 a night mm -hmm. and then um, people can actually um, have some peace and quiet away from home without traveling that far. You know, if it's okay. just 15 minutes drive away from home, right. it's an option that a lot of people look at right now, especially there's no traffic in Manila okay. during Yes, Lenten that's season. true. So it is quiet over here if Definitely. you opt to stay in the city. Yes. Now, what about those, the ones that want to um, still observe the religious aspect again of the holiday? Do um, Are there packages involved if they want to go visit the churches around Manila? Well, or? yeah, some, some um, uh, tour operators in the Philippines actually already have those kind of um, um, tours. religious uh, tours or ah. packages. We have one um, called Kutud Festival. I believe that's the one in Pampanga. Mm -hmm. Well, Tagaytay is still very famous, although once again, I would have to say it would be uh, not impossible, but very hard to find rooms already um, there. So just people would, you know, a lot of people would still opt to go walk-ins with okay. hotels, you know, especially if it's just an hour, two hour drive away from the city right but um yeah that, that's an option a lot of you can people plan to go for to. a day and um yes. if you plan to stay and then maybe if you decide to stay you just walk in yeah. a hotel and see if they have availability yeah. yes yes well thank mm -hmm. you now can you tell people where they can get in touch with you for you know tours and packages okay actually we're travel depot um we have our website it's travel depot-ph.com and we're also on facebook um, we have all these packages uh, for, for travel, both local and international. You can call us at 0917-599-2608 and um, 631-0018. And we also um, help people put up their own travel agency business. Actually, we have about almost 400 travel agencies nationwide, Luzon, Visayas, and Mindanao. These are affiliate agencies. If travel is your passion, if you really wanted to like um you know um uh, earn something from what you really love to do and what you really enjoy this is something that you might want to explore as well okay. so you can check us out in facebook all right thanks sharon Probably. thank you thank you so much sharon paris there of at the travel depot and up next we have more news and features for you right after this break stay with us you're still watching solar daybreak